the best advice I got today before coming up here came from, from Dave Button. He said, Robin, just don't mess up. <laughs> I always appreciate that kind of advice. Definitely appreciate you helping out, of course, and uh, thank you again for everything that you guys uh, do to the foundation. You guys are an invaluable resource for so many different things that we do as an organization. Our first award, we're going to get right into this. I'm just going to stay up here with my bodyguard, which is great. Uh, again, some, some of the folks uh, that are going to be awarded today are, are, aren't with us today. Uh, of course, it's a different year. Uh, some traveled, some didn't travel, uh, but we're still going to celebrate them. If you are uh, here, and I, I know who's here and who's not, but uh, we'd like you to come up on stage, uh, at least give us a good handshake and uh, say a few words if you would like. So our first award is the George L. Schmutz Award, established in 1959. This award recognizes an outstanding technical manuscript or publication on real estate valuation, regardless of the author's occupation, affiliation, or publisher. The winner is re recommended to the AI Education Relief Foundation by the Appraisal Institute's Publication Review Panel. Peter T. Christensen, Esquire, is being honored Firms published by the Appraisal Institute. This book provides practitioners with realistic, effective suggestions for managing the risks associated with valuation assignments. Peter maintains a law practice focused on a legal, regulatory, and insurance issues concerning real estate valuation. He has published more than 50 articles relating to appraisal liability issues, many appearing in the Appraisal Institute Valuation Magazine, and he's presented hundreds of liability prevention seminars to appraisers. Congratulations to this year's winner of the George Calcifer Award. with them, like, like an online class or a, or a live class, it's a lot of work. And the, the, the publication staff and the class staff, they are so good at what they do. Uh, it, just, it just helps you write a good book. I mean, so, uh, so thank you very much. We now come to the Dr. William N. Kennard Jr. Award, which was originally established by the Society of Real Estate Appraisers. This award acknowledges professionalism in education. The criteria for this award require the recipient to be an academic instructor or administrator or an individual or a program that contributed to the education, knowledge, professionalism, or development of the real estate appraisal field. Honorees are selected by the Board of Directors of the Appraisal Institute Education and Relief Foundation based on recommendations from the AI's Education Committee and Education staff. This year's winner is Stephanie Coleman, MAI SRA. Screening Senior Manager of Ethics and Standards for the Appraisal Institute. Throughout her career, she has been actively involved with the Appraisal Institute at both the national, local, chapter levels. Before 2000, when she joined the Appraisal Institute's national staff, she served on the Appraisal Standards Council, Editorial Review Committee, Planning Committee, Education Committee, Ethics Committee, and Young Advisories Council. Advisory Council. Through her role, Stephanie provides aid on appraisal standards and business practice issues to appraisers and non-appraisers throughout the United States. She is also the staff liaison of the Appraisal Institute's Professional Standards and Guidance Committee, 
Body of Knowledge Committees, and Ethics and Counseling Committee, assisting those committees in carrying out their charters. Now you see why I have to read all this, folks. <laughs> Congratulations to this year's winner of the Dr. William N. Kennard Jr. Award, Stephanie Coleman, MAI, SRA, AIGRS, AIRRS. To invite up Steve Wagner. He would like to uh, give some remarks on Stephanie's behalf. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, let me just say at the outset uh, it's an honor to uh, accept this award on Stephanie's behalf. Now, in Stephanie's words. I am most honored to accept this award and I thank those who nominated me. This award means a great deal to me. Dr. Kennard was a professor at the University of Connecticut where I was his student, research assistant, and graduate teaching assistant. At that time, he was also involved in developing education for the organizations that eventually merged to form the Appraisal Institute. At UConn, he introduced me to real property appraisal. I introduced him to running shoes. <laughs> for those of you who knew Bill, you know he wasn't much of a runner but he did like wearing the shoes. For the rest of his life, Bill was my mentor. He was a good friend to me and my family. His sudden passing in 2021 affected us deeply. I must admit, there were many times during the first few years of my career that I wanted to quit appraisal, get out, do something else. It was not easy for women in commercial appraisal. But Bill did everything he could to encourage me. I stayed with him because of him. Bill was the most inspiring teacher I've ever known. I learned a lot from him about how to teach and how to approach a valuation problem. He once told me that appraising is oftentimes like sculpting an elephant out of a block of stone. It's not difficult, he said. You just chisel away all the bits that don't look like an elephant. Don't make it more complicated than it is, he'd say. Just understand the fundamentals and apply them with care. Thank you again, and my best to all my appraisal friends and colleagues. I'm sure there's a, a few of us in here that would say that there have been a few years that we'd all probably like to have, have quit appraisal, just like Stephanie. Uh, sometimes I even think in, in the recent few years, maybe that is true for me. But we're here, and we keep, you know, keep doing what we love and keep, keep moving forward with the profession. Uh, now we come to the James H. Pritchard Award, which was established in 2002. This award recognizes a designated member of the Appraisal Institute for outstanding contributions to appraisal education or mentoring in a manner that reflects the character and lifelong commitment of the late James H. Pritchard, MAI, SRA, whose greatest attributes include his leadership and integrity, and often demonstrated by his exceptional work in teaching, writing, mentoring, and professional practice and litigation support in the eminent domain. Recommendations for this award are made by AI's chapters and regions, as well as Pritchett, Ball, and Wise, the firm that Mr. Pritchett founded in 1954. 
and are affirmed by the Appraisal Institute of Education and Relief Foundation. The recipient of this is somebody who's also near and dear to me. It's Bonnie D. Rourke, M-A-I-A-I-G-R-S. Bonnie is named the winner of this year's James A. Christian Award for her leadership, integrity, and outstanding contributions to appraisal education, writing, mentoring, and professional practice in litigation support. She's dedicated countless hours mentoring students and guiding them along their career paths. She also helped appraisers gain valuable experience and expertise to advance their standing in the valuation profession. Her ability to teach, explain, and provide a mentee with excellent appraisal methodology is unparalleled. In all ways, Bonnie demonstrates professionalism, wisdom, and true leadership. Congratulations to this year's winner, the James A. Fisher Award, Bonnie, for MAI AIGRS. I'm going to have Warren Boyzai come up. And mind you, I, before I give this over to him this, to say about Bonnie, I would just like to say oh, one of the first people when I came into the Appraisal Institute, I would say back in 2002, uh, that I met was Bonnie. She was there, and she was such an incredible advocate for our industry, for our organization. Uh, and, and Bonnie's been there since day one uh, on, on my journey. So, so I'm, I'm really pleased to see Bonnie getting this way. I'm not Bonnie, obviously, but uh, on behalf of the Colorado chapter, I, I was hoping this would be really cool. I was going to have her on Zoom. We we're going to do this right here like this. But she did send on this text to read uh, for you guys. Thank you, I'm honored, and thank you to my two right of way mentees who I suspect were involved in the nomination for the award. Probably many more than that, I'm sure. Uh, I was totally surprised. One of the best rewards for decades in this profession is being able to mentor young professionals as they expand their expertise into a new specialty. Congratulations, Bonnie. So now we come to our fourth and our final AI Education and Relief Foundation Award. Uh, but don't forget, we also have some awards for the Appraisal Journal and then the Appraisal Institute's annual awards to present you this afternoon. So the YT and Louise Lee Lum Award was established in 1963 and honors YT Lum, a prominent member of the American Institute of Real Estate Appraisers, an internationally known speaker and authority on real estate, and his wife, Louise Lee. The purpose of the YT and Louise Lee Lum Award is to recognize one or more worthy individuals who've made a distinguished contribution to the appraisal profession during the preceding year. The YT and Louise Lee Lum Award is open to appraisal institute professionals as well as those who do not belong to the AI organization. The YT and Louise Lee Lum Award is given in recognition of and great appreciation for the distinguished contribution to the furtherness to further, excuse me, of the high ideals of the profession of real estate appraising and practices. Mindful of the fact that this contribution was possible only through the zeal, uprightness, sacrifice, devotion, acumen, and ability of a contributor. The winner is selected by the Board of Directors and the appraisal of the Appraisal Institute Education and Relief Foundation. Easy for you to say. Larry T. Wright, M-A-I, S-R-A, A-I-G-R-S. Larry is being honored for his dedication to the appraisal profession and to his fellow AI professionals. He is described by colleagues as an exceptional ambassador of the appraisal profession whose service at the chapter, region, and national levels is unbelievable. And I would agree with that. Larry served the Appraisal Institute as the Vice Chair of the Appraisal Journal Editorial Board, as a member of the 2020 National Education Committee, as the Co-Chair of the Education Committee for the Houston Chapter. He is an instructor and has served as a reviewer for several Appraisal Institute publications, including the recent 2020 and 2021 seminars. 
praising condos, co-ops, and PUDs seminar and inconsistency is hiding in plain sight in your appraisal. Congratulations this year's winner of the YT and Louis Lee Level Award, Larry T. Wright, MAI, SRA, AI, GRS. Unfortunately, Larry couldn't be with us here today, so uh, we will. I will gladly accept that on his behalf. Next, uh, it's now my pleasure to present three awards from the Appraisal Journal that are also sponsored by the AI Education and Relief Foundation. The first award is, excuse me, the first award is the Armstrong Kahn Award, which is presented by the Appraisal Journal's editorial board for the most outstanding original article published in the Appraisal Journal during the previous year. Bruce K. Cole, PhD, and David Huber, PhD, are being honored for their article, Golf Course Communities as Multi-Sided Markets Ownership Implications, which appeared in the journal's spring 2020 issue. The article explains the connection of golf courses to land value in golf course communities and describes the unique challenges that homeowners associations face as they work to preserve property values in their communities. Congratulations to this year's winners, the Armstrong Con Award, Bruce K. Cole, PhD, and David Huber, PhD. And again, they, unfortunately, they weren't able to be here today, so we'll just accept that on their behalf. The second appraisal journal award is the Swango Award. This award, also presented by the Appraisal Journal, an editorial award is presented for the best article published during the previous year on residential, general, or technologically uh, related topics, or for original research of benefit to real estate analysts and valuers. The article must be written by an appraisal practitioner. David C. Lenhoff, MAI, SRA, AIGRS, and Richard L. Harley, MAI, are being recognized for their article, Timing is Everything, the Role of the Interim Use in the Highest and Best Use Conclusion, which appeared in the summer of 2020 issue of the Appraisal Journal. The article proposes the formal incorporation of the concept of interim use into the definition of highest and best use to help improve the understanding of the relationship between the two concepts. Congratulations to the winner of the Swango Award, David C. Lenhoff, MAI, SRA, AIGRS, and Richard L. Harley, MAI. The third and final Appraisal Journal Award is the Richard U. Ratcliffe Award. It's presented annually for the best original article published in the Appraisal Journal, written by an academic author. To be eligible for this award, an article must have been peer-reviewed by members of the Appraisal Journal Academic Review Panel, and the principal author must be primarily engaged in teaching at a college or university. This year's winner of the article, written by Kimberly K. Merriman, PhD, and Leonard J. Pizzella, MAI, is Perspectives on the Assembled Workforce and Real Estate Property Valuation, which appeared in the summer 2020 issue of the Appraisal Journal. The article examines theory and practice surrounding a recognized yet debatable non-real property element, the trained and assembled workforce, and presents a step-by-step -step conceptual treatment of the assembled workforce in real property valuation. Congratulations to this year's winner of the Richard U. Radcliffe Award, Kimberly K. Merriman, PhD, and Leonard J. Sella, MAI. So that concludes the presentations for the four AI Education and Relief Foundation Awards and the three appraisal journal awards. Yep, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. I don't feel nearly as safe up here now. <laughs> so now we're going to turn our attention to this year's Appraisal Institute Awards, starting with the President's Awards. Uh, 
a lot of thought goes into a, a, a president's award. There are so many different people that do so many different things for this organization. And I'll tell you, when you sit down, it's not a short list. Um, I, I can't even tell you how many people that I would love to have to be able to honor today. Uh, but I have selected four people that I would like to honor with the President's Award today. The President's Award is given at the President's discretion to individuals who are committed to the organization, currently engaged in its activities as an effective spokesperson, representative at all times, and in touch with both the needs of other AI professionals and the changes that the organization must help its AI professionals meet. As this year's president, I had the high honor and distinct privilege of being able to recognize the special contributions of four individuals who have improved the Appraisal Institute's ability to serve as professionals across the country and around the world. The first award goes to someone who has been a selfless servant for the Appraisal Institute for years. When called to participate, he always steps up to the challenge and always provides incredible leadership for the AI and the people that we all represent. He has served in various roles on numerous committees, including the National Nominating Committee, where he and I first met him. <clears throat> we later served together on the Governance Structure Project team, and then the Board of Directors, for his unwavering commitment to this organization. I'm proud to present tonight's First President's Award to Eric Haynes. Service to the Appraisal Institute. 
She has an incredible depth of knowledge about this organization and its inner workings, and has been the face of her chapter for years. She has a real love for the Appraisal Institute, which shines through in each of the tasks that she takes to benefit all of our members. I'm proud to have known this person for over 13 years, and I can't even tell you how much I appreciate the support that she's given to me over all those years. She's been there throughout my entire leadership journey. Sherry Engelberg. Rarely uh, shy or lack 
word, but this is definitely one of the most occasions um, where thank goodness the resident is that you called me a few minutes before this luncheon to allow me to get um, out of my PJs, apparently. <laughs> uh, thank you um, so much for this award. I feel absolutely undeserving um, to receive it or to be amongst the other recipients um, who I feel have contributed so much more to this organization than I ever can. Um, thank you to my fellow uh, teammates and staff. I can't do what I do without you. Um, not only your professional support, uh, but your friendship means so much um, in making me go on every single day and, and be the person that I can be and help this organization as, I, as much as I can. Um, thank you to the members and those of you who have um, reached out and developed friendships with me. I continue to be so amazed uh, by the dedication, the commitment, and just pure love for this organization that so many of you show um, and the sacrifices that you make every day to make all, all of us, all of AI, that much greater. So um, again, thank you so much, um, Rodman. I feel completely undeserving for it, but truly appreciate um, the award as well as an opportunity. So at least virtually say hello to everybody. Thank you again. And just so you guys know, Beata's not here until Thursday because she cut her own budget. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why she's so good at what she does. <laughs> So our next award is one that I'm really excited about. I spoke about this a little bit earlier. It's my privilege to present for the first time the Women's Initiative Spotlight Award. This award was established in 2020 to recognize an AI professional who has made an important contribution to fostering the growth of women in the valuation profession. All AI professionals are eligible for the Women's Initiative Spotlight Award, and winners are selected by the Women's Initiative Committee. This year's winner is fittingly a champion for women in the appraisal profession. She has been a member of the Appraisal Institute for more than 30 years and served at the chapter, regional, and national levels. She has served on the Appraisal Institute's Board of Directors and numerous Appraisal Institute committees, including the International Relations Committee, Audit Committee, and the Executive Committee. Sarah W. Stevens, MAI, AI, GR. Sarah is this year's and the first winner of the Appraisal Institute's Women's Initiative Spotlight Award. As only one of two women who have held the position of president of the Appraisal Institute and its predecessor organizations. Sarah is an inspiring mentor for women in the valuation profession, a proven leader, and a fearless advocate for all appraisers. I'd like to have Kelly Yates come up, who is the chair of the Women's Initiative Committee, to accept this award on Sarah's behalf. Thank you, Sarah. She said she was both stunned and very appreciative. She misses seeing everybody this year, and she looks forward to next year, where she'll be able to see everyone and hopefully give everyone a hug. Um, but uh, thank you so much for uh, the support, Robin, uh, for this, this award, and we look forward to making this a uh, annual thing. But um, Sarah is a great, not, is a great uh, first recipient, inaugural recipient, and uh, congratulations to Sarah. Okay, now we're going to move on to the Appraising Institute's Outstanding Service Award. The Outstanding Service Award is presented to an AI professional who has contributed ideas, uh, has presented ideas, service hours, and dedication to ensure a specific program or effort is implemented at either the chapter, region, national, and or international levels. This AI professional must be instrumental to the success of the program or effort which also must be far enough along to measure and provide proof of success. 
Additionally, the program or effort must be beneficial to chapters, region, national, or international designated members, candidates, affiliates, practicing affiliates, and or the profession. This year's winner has worked tirelessly to promote a program that pursues a major opportunity for the Appraisal Institute in the coming years, filling the appraiser pipeline with potential appraisers to lead the profession in years to come. This individual has worked at a grassroots level to foster relationships between the Appraisal Institute's chapters, regions, and their local universities. He's been a champion in the Appraisal Institute's University Relations Program and currently serves as the chair of the University Relations Committee. Ryan L. Zink, MAI. Scott, 
were a part of Scott's life, I think you would all nod your head and know that, yeah, with Scott Robinson, we did lose an incredible giant in his profession. Those are the qualities that Scott embodied in the service of the Appraisal Institute. And for that reason alone, it's only fitting that this year's first recipient of the J. Scott Robinson Lifetime Achievement Award be presented to J. Scott Robinson, M-A-I, sorry, A-I-G-R-S, A-I-R-R-S. Giselle School of Medicine, 
at Dartmouth College. He says four simple phrases carry enormous power to mend and nurture our relationships and in our lives. These four phrases and sentiments can help us resolve interpersonal difficulties with integrity and grace. And this was what Scott was about. Those four phrases are one, please forgive me. Two, I forgive you. Three, thank you. And four, I love you. Dr. Fiox has a book called The Four Things That Matter Most, and I encourage you to read it, as it is about those four phrases. I am pretty sure that when Scott was in his final hours, he said these four words to us all, as Dr. Fiox believes dying people do. Four words, and for that matter, often. Say them to everyone important to you, your significant other, your family, your co workers, your friends, folks like the short. If you just say these things as you go along, when they have been said, then they have been said, no matter what happens. Scott's death is a tragedy, but it can also be an opportunity. I feel his presence every day. Like Betty Bishop said to me in a note earlier this summer, let's honor God and make his gift he left us in the opportunity. Last but not least, again, I can never thank you, a Franklin to friends, co-workers of God, etc., for all you have done for us. You truly stepped forward and made a bridge to get us from what seemed like a cruel joke to where we are now, managing the rumble without our friends. My children and I will be forever humbled by your outpouring of love. Don't forget us because we will never forget all of you. May we be together very soon. May you all be healthy. May you be happy. May you know that God walks beside you every day. And I always remember the four most important phrases. And to walk with a hard back, but a soft front. Thank you. Thanks, Kim. We, we appreciate you, and you know, we sure all do miss Scott. So, uh, th thank you for letting us have this for all that time that you, you did. It was a, a blessing to have him as a part of our lives. Thank you. All right. I gotta catch my breath. All right. The next recipient of the J. Scott Robinson Lifetime Achievement Award has been a practicing appraiser for 65 years and an appraisal institute designated member since 1965. He has served in numerous positions at the Appraisal Institute at the chapter and national levels, including National External Affairs Committee and the National Vice President's Committee. He contributed to the development of USPAP guidelines and appraiser qualifications, as well as the original Use that course. He has worked as an appraisal institute instructor for decades, and he has been selected on multiple occasions to write valuation courses and serve as a consultant to the appraisal institute in developing curriculum. He has been a prolific writer throughout his career, contributing significantly to the appraisal institute's body of published work. He has served in the Northern California chapter as president and as a committee member for decades of Northern California conferences, seminars, and events. For his decades of service at the Appraisal Institute, honors Arlen C. Mills, MAI SRA. We're so happy to be able to honor So our third recipient of the J. Scott Robinson Lifetime Achievement Award received his MAI designation 50 years ago and spent decades serving the profession. He served the organization at the chapter, region, and national level, including service on the board of directors, national committee of regional chairs, body of knowledge committee, and the task force of the compensate uh, the comprehensive review of the Code of Ethics. 
Terry Etzel, MAI, is being honored today thanks to his decades of dedication to the profession, including the instrumental role that he played in the merger of the Appraisal Institute's predecessor organizations. Please join me in applauding the second winner of the J. Scott, this is the third winner of the J. Scott Robinson Lifetime uh, uh, Achievement Award, Terry Hensel. Our final recipient tonight was nominated by a committee of distinguished appraisal professionals, including three past presidents. A designated member for over 30 years, this person has been honored with the YT and Louise Lee Lum Award and President's Award for his contributions to this profession. He has testified before Congress on appraisal-related issues and served the organization as third director Vice Chair and Chair. He has served on the Audit Committee, written two capstone case studies, completed two tours on the Executive Committee, and is currently serving as the Appraisal Institute's CEO. Jim Amron, MAI, SRA. National staff in Chicago. Over the past 18 months, Jim has been instrumental in ensuring the Appraisal Institute's work could continue with a staff that was unexpectedly thrust into a remote work environment. Having experience on both ends of the spectrum, Jim has ushered in a collaborative environment between the board of directors and staff and overseen a period of growth for our organization. Jim's decades of service to the profession make him a worthy candidate for the J. Scott Robinson Lifetime Achievement Award. Please, another round of applause for you. Um, I, I uh, want to thank the people uh, who nominated me and those that selected me. Um, I was uh, I'm quite surprised, to say the least. Um, uh, Rick, this one's for you. I'm just a simple guy from Texas. Um, and I have a number of people 30 years ago gave me an opportunity to volunteer for the AI. It's our ethos, it's what makes us who we are, it's what will survive well after we're all gone. Um, and I encourage you to volunteer, not for the credit, this is nice, um, but uh, the, the, the work is its own reward. And if you stick around long enough, um, You'll, you'll do some really great things and you'll touch people in ways that you didn't expect that you would. So thank you very much for this. Um, this award. Particularly right now, with the being remaining for Scott, um, means the world to me. Uh, to Molly and Lizzie, to Kim and Miles, um, all of Scott's immediate family, for all of the Finkus family and friends that are in here, I want to thank, thank you all for sharing Scott with us and allowing him to shower us with his grace. Uh, if I can be half the guy that Scott is, I feel like I've accomplished something meaningful in this life. Um, so I just want to say thank you. Um, you know, the one thing about volunteering with the AI is that each time I had an opportunity to do it, I realized I owed the AI more because I got something more out of it. I happen to find my wife at the AI as well. Um, so, Robin, if you're here, um, if you are, thank you. Thanks for letting me come out and play with these guys in the house from time to time. Um, I know it takes time away from you, but thank you for letting me do this. Thank you.
So a final congratulations to all the Appraisal Institute Education and Relief Foundation Award winners, the Appraisal Journal Award winners, and the Appraisal Institute Award winners. And thank you for everybody for being here. Again, I know that these are difficult times. We're all adapting, we're all adjusting. Boy, isn't this nice. Isn't it nice to be in a room celebrating with one another? For those of you who have received uh, rewards today, uh, please stay afterwards. We're going to take a few photos. And again, I'd just like to, to thank the Appraisal Institute Education Relief Foundation uh, for the awards and everything they did. I hope you enjoyed this uh, luncheon. And I've been enjoying so much shaking all of your hands and getting a chance to talk to you. So uh, by all means, let's celebrate the rest of the day. And thank you for coming out today.